So this story is kind of following the trajectory of some other conversations we've had, particularly when it comes to OTT, over the top, streaming, things like Disney Plus, uh, et cetera, that, that are affecting the business for you guys. As we look out into 2020 with more streaming launches, with Olympics coming from the parent of this network as well, how much of that is baked into expectations already or how much upside do you think there might be from that? Well, it's a little of both. We are excited about the potential for traffic growth in 2020. As you mentioned, there's a lot of big events, also the uh, U.S. election, uh, major streaming launches, and we're a big part of all of those. Uh, so that's factored into our guidance, but there's the potential for upside as well, and it should be an exciting year for Akamai. How much of a difference is there between streaming services and then some other uh, uh, technology that runs over the network like gaming? We've got a couple of big console launches coming up at the end of the year from Sony and from Microsoft. Online is a big part of their stories now. Google and Microsoft and others have been working on more gaming capabilities through the browser. Is that just a blip compared to OTT or is it potentially significant? No, that's significant as well. The uh, two big drivers of traffic on the Internet are video or the OTT and the uh, software downloads and the gaming downloads. They drive a ton of traffic as well. Uh, the majority, of the little more than half our traffic is video, but close second is the software and gaming downloads. The security story for you guys as well. Um, <laughs> Even in election season, we, we saw what happened in Iowa when it came to people using personal phones for an app meant for voting. Uh, how much is security going to continue to be part of the story in some of these both applications that are coming to the network in 5G and, and also some of the streaming that we're seeing? What's the opportunity there since that's been growing, what, 29 percent year over year for you guys in the latest quarter? Yeah, we're seeing fabulous growth in our security business. Uh, you know, we're well on a path to achieving more than a billion dollars in 2020 for our security products. Uh, we're bringing new products to market to protect enterprise applications, some of the kinds of things that you mentioned that should drive further growth. I think security is a problem across the board. You know, big media is a big target uh, for the hackers. Obviously, banks, commercial transactions of all kinds are, are targets personal information, and, and now you got the elections. And, uh, you know, the real worry there is that denial of service attacks or uh, misinformation, corruption of data, you know, could uh, help suppress votes or in some way alter the outcome of the elections, which is, you know, a very concerning concept. Yeah, I mean, John just mentioned it, the 29% year-on-year growth for cloud security. Uh, certainly, uh, it's a business that is continuing to, to ramp up for you. Whether it's the start of the year with worries about cyber attacks uh, coming from Iran amid heightened tensions there, just this week, the U.S. charging Chinese military officials uh, in connection with the 2017 Equifax hack. As we have all these events play out, are they continuing to drive more demand? Do they translate to more business for your services? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, the attack landscape is moving very quickly. It's very dangerous. New kinds of attacks out there. Uh, and a lot of those companies turn to Akamai because we're in a unique position to defend them. Uh, so it makes a big difference for the growth of our security business.